Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Final Fantasy 16. Last time we left off, we were sitting here before what feels like a very, very climactic part of the story. I don't think there's any items I need to buy yet. I think I bought everything from Goots last time, but we will talk. If Sid were here today, I reckon he'd be proud of you, Clive. He'd be proud of us all. Yeah. That he would, that he would. Hey, Prince. There is still much I would learn of your tale, once this day is done. Until then, all who might come between me and such knowledge shall answer to my spear. I do not envy them. Hey, Dion. Dion's cool. I like Dion. Hey, Torgal. I couldn't have made it this far without you, Torgal. Bork Bork. Alright. Each parting brings the hope of reunion. I missed you, Clive. I missed you too. Alrighty. Joshua. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. At once. We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream. Our dream is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall. Together. Ooh, this might be a long recording. <laughs> I didn't realize just how hard I was cliffing in it last time. I thought this was gonna be like going into the final dungeon, kinda, but no, this is like final boss fight, I think. You all know what it is. That awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. Aye. Aye. Oh, God. Seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go. Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. Why do I, why, why do I get the feeling that Ultima looks like that actor that played, um, one of the Zargarians in House of Dragons and was one of the doctors in Doctor Who? Why do I get the feeling that, that they look like him? <laughs> Maybe it is? I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It kind of, sort of looks like it to me. Joshua. Joshua, wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. We're not in Kansas anymore, Joshua. We're in final boss... We're in final dungeon in an RPG. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. 
as fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. Ah, uh, the interdimensional rift. Yep. Here's the part of the RPG where the final boss is like, See? This is why I want to reset the world. Look at all the horrible things your people have done. I'm going to reset them so they can't do those horrible things anymore. And I will be like, but I don't care. <laughs> those are what those people did, not me. This music is cool. Quite a neat looking area too. Excuse me, it looks like we're in a giant bird cage, doesn't it? How it kind of arcs together up at the top. Yeah, it certainly looks like we're in a giant bird cage. Neat visual. This area also just looks beautiful. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. Oh, shut up, Dulcens. Getting our big lore dump before the final boss. Man, you know, it happens so often that there's just like floating debris in one of the final areas of a game. I think it was because just things kind of stopped in motion like that. It's just such a cool, striking visual. There's, there's two different options for like final RPG areas. Either it's like a purple and blue like kind of demonic area. It's like floating ruins like this. Or it's a really, really high-tech area, despite the rest of the game being, you know, mostly not high-tech. Like, you know, it's mostly medieval, but then, like, there's a ancient civilization that has high-tech, and that's where you end up finishing off the game with sliding automatic doors and you're fighting robots and stuff like that. So, I mean, I guess this game has a little bit of that with the Fallen as well. So. I imagine that's what we're going to be learning about here. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive 
a dissolution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, Forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear. Humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. Well, follow we shall. For now. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, sort of makes sense. It said you were searching for a world untainted by by the Blight specifically, so Ultima and co. were searching. I wonder if they were searching for planets or just a landmass on the world. Excuse me, what is that? Oh, they're like little wisps. Um, but yeah, I wonder which one of those they were specifically searching for. And then they arrived here and saw that this was a place that they could kind of escape the Blight. But it requires completely resetting it, and the only way for people to join them is to become like Ultima and basically surrender all of these things that make them human, basically. That's always cool, I don't care. Things- pieces coming together to form a bridge for you, always awesome. Alright, alright. So yeah, well now we understand why they want to reset the world. So... To forge a new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource. And the land, she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we are one and the same. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that that makes sense. You're you're going to have the people that want to take what other people have, so uh, magic being a finite resource, people are gonna start fighting over it. Which certainly does make sense, but like like they said, pretty much every party is at fault here, I would say. So 
it, creating people just to have them be like mindless, willless automatons is just. Eh. I mean, sure, it suits your rational needs as a rational, godlike being, but of course, people are going to want and desire things if you leave them alone long enough. Oh, I thought that was a giant figure. Might still be, to be fair. Oh, look at the. It is a giant figure. Look at the people in the columns. Is that the freed? Or what's left of him? Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Thalestia cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you. As your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn. This master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends, my family, we have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. It's time we lived on our own terms. 
This isn't your world anymore. It's us. Bow down, Avengers. Hearts disdain. All right. Well, uh, you took a, it seems like I thought you took away my ability to use magic for a second there and I was like um, Are you going to are we gonna have to do this without icons like is this gonna be a fight with no icons and I was like that would be pretty crazy But no that does not seem to be the case So how Hello Gravica is still doing its thing down there. Whoop. Damn it. I'm trying to get this Mega Flare charged here. Obviously, having a bit of trouble though. There we go. Alright, so, uh, yeah. I'm interesting. I'm interested by the fact that, um, the, uh, the Mother Crystals weren't super mentioned? Unless I missed it, or am it, or am forgetting when it was, uh, talked about, because, uh, yeah, they seem to insinuate that the blight wasn't actually caused by the mother crystal. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Gravica's not supposed to kill me. It's supposed to take a percentage of my HP down. Okay, well, I was not prepared for that, clearly. All right. That is hard to dodge, all of them. All right, well, let's continue trying to get my Mega Flare back out, I guess. Ow. You know what? You know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we just say screw the Mega Flare. There comes the Gravaga. There we go. There's a Mega Flare dodge. Uh-huh. You want to hit me? Got it. Good dodge. Okay, so we need to keep our HP high. I'm learning. <laughs> HP needs to stay high for sure. Um, God, that is hard to dodge. So, so very hard to dodge. All right. Okay, Ultima. But yeah, I expected more to be talked about with the Mother Crystals because they seem to insinuate that the idea was uh, that magic is actually what was causing the, uh, the blight to happen, and that this was a problem before they even came to Valisthea. Um, so... That's interesting. Ow. So, uh, yeah. There's a lot of- there's a lot of stuff to digest in the story right there. Alright. I do like that you're using all of the different, uh, iconic powers. Currently, um, let's get in there. You do have quite a crazy amount of a. Uh... Okay, dodge that, but here, damn it, getting popped here pretty hard. You know, this is the final battle. I should really be using these, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of uh, story explanation stuff there. Like I said, still not totally sure about the impact of the Mother Crystals and what they actually do. It seemed to insinuate that this was just- the Mother Crystals were just needed for Ultima's plan, but I might just be forgetting some, uh, some detail here. God damn it. I think precision dodging is the main way that you're gonna be able to... ...to block that. Oh, that's annoying. Ow. Ow. I'm really, really failing against this boss. That did zero damage to me. Why? Ooh, you follow up. Okay. Hey, we got Frostwolf Torgal. Big punch. Neutron flare. Here's this shit again. 
I dodged like all of them one of the times and I'm I'm not totally sure how I did it now. So boom. Bing. And give him a wind up. And give him a Giga Flare. Yeah, and also when you took away my ability to use Ithreet earlier, I, I I really was expecting to just not be able to use magic at all in this fight. Um, but no, maybe it just took away my ability to like proper prime, because I can still semi prime too. Such foul attaint may not be sublime through game standing. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. Oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. Okay, I managed to do the full dodge again. Okay, let's hit you with the impulse. Here we go. Ooh, way too, way too late on that. Oh my god, I cannot see shit, Captain. Ricochet? Whoop. Oh, you caught me there. Let's go ahead and hit you with a diamond dust. Uh-huh. Hello. Grab a go. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Uh. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so impulse. Uh, hit him with one of those. Hit him with a raging fist. Not gonna be able to do uh, a Giga Flare there. I'm not gonna have enough time. I imagine there's gonna be another phase. Gifted this chance, and still you would raise your hand against the Lord. What now? The darkness bends. to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us. Fucking hell! I kept being like, oh, it's probably gonna end soon, so I kept uh, doing Wings of Light, but it just kept going. I was like, oh, this will be a good opportunity to build up my Wings of Light. No. There we go. Hit him with the Mega Flare. Also, like, Ultima can put us in a pocket dimension. I mean... Couldn't you just, like, leave us here and not fight us? <laughs> couldn't you just make us sit here and suffer until we agreed to become your vessel? You don't need to fight us. And I'm kind of surprised that we're standing a chance here. I really would have thought before we fought Ultima that we would have gotten some kind of MacGuffin or ability that like truly allowed us to actually have a fighting chance against you. Um, like I would have thought we would have needed some sort of secret ability or something, you know? But no, it seems like we don't need it, actually. It seems like we can kind of just hold our own against you right now. Like, I would have guessed we would have needed some sort of way to suppress you being able to, uh, steal our magic abilities and things like that, but... No? Ooh, there's a lot going on! Okay. Managed to do that to you. There we go. 
Uh, cold snap. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a good freeze. That was a good freeze to get. Seems like we're doing minuscule damage at this point. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do one of these. Okay, they were done. That's real damage. Bang! Bing bing. Okay, that's good damage. Let's go ahead and pop this too. A little bit of extra damage on top. Uh oh. Here we go. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, I really expected there to be, like, a crazy final, final phase where, uh... Ooh, increases the rate at which Dancing Steel feels the Zendetsuke engage by 25%. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um... I really expected there to be, like, another crazy form. Maybe it's right after the screen, as soon as I press X, to be fair. Um, where you turned into, like, some sort of giant monster creature. But, um... Yeah, that wasn't too hard. I, I did eat a lot, to be fair. Well, eat, but no, I drank a lot. I drank a lot of potions, but... At last, for countless generations, have we awaited this moment. Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Um, oh. Why is Jill just talking with a younger version of herself? <laughs> Everyone else is at least talking to a different person. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These, these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter, matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind.
please. Won't somebody save me? Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... Joshua was trying to wake us up, to be fair. Come on, Joshua. Keep keep yelling our name. The classic attempt of the uh, antagonist to turn our our, uh, our our protag. Just just give them a depressive episode and just see if they'll just give it all up, you know? Just be like, what's the point, you know? None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother? It's okay, we're good. Joshua used the phoenix down on us. Remember who you are. Clive. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name. Is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the Phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix, emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? Alright, here's our icon battle. This is what I was waiting for. Because I'm out of healing potions, so this had to be the next step.
surprised that works. Isn't, isn't like this exactly what Ultima wanted was for us to assume that form so he could take us over because we'd come the perfect vessel. But I guess the reason he can't do that and the problem with that is that we still have our will, basically. He was trying to break our will and if we had done that infused, then we would have been boned. But specifically because we still had our will, he couldn't take us over because we weren't a perfect vessel, so we could turn into that form. Still seems spooky and dangerous, but... No way that's it. There's no way that's it. Yeah, no, there's got to be more. <laughs> there's no way. All we did was just escape the darkness, so... Wake up. Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place... How does one leave this place? We woke up from the dream, but we're still in the weird dimensional rift, so... We're multiple layers deep right now. And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos. Soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. So the crystals are no more, yet in their silence a new song rings, its chorus building, a crescendo as it enters its final movement, stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. Oh yeah, floating island out of the ocean in a futuristic looking city. Yeah, that's what we needed. There's our final area. <laughs> now that's more like it. Crystals cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? 
This is wrong. Are we back? Clyde! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I hope this ship can fly. I will be with you and none. Thank you. Okay, I, th I, b I believe I understand specifically what the Mother Crystals were, were doing now. I think basically what the Mother Crystals were meant to do was separate the power into four different areas. There were four of them, right? Or was there five? However many there were, basically you separated the power into a few different areas. So Ultima actually did want us to destroy the Mother Crystals, but only when it was time for us to destroy them. Because once we destroy all of them, all of the ether inside them just comes to this final location here and kind of culminates in this Super Crystal. So yeah, basically you split up the power into a few different pieces, wanted us to ta- you basically tasked us with destroying the Mother Crystals because uh, we would get stronger in the process and gather some icons while we were doing it also that we all the, so at the end when we had our full power and we had thought we had foiled your plan all of that residual ether comes together to form this big thing and your plan actually goes into action so it seems like we kind of walked right into what Ultima wanted us to do there which I mean makes sense so all right yeah that would have been incredibly anticlimactic if that was the final fight um so, uh, good thing that was I not. What happened to Drake's spine? And I'm going to need Otto's help. Okay, is that Byron? That is Byron, I think. Also, new things have popped up, and I'm sure we got new quests and stuff. That is totally Byron. Did you know that it was I who convinced His Imperial Highness to join you in Stone Hill? <laughs> All right, it may be that he was of a mind to do so already, but it was I who told him where you'd be. Wow, thank you, Byron. All right, cool. So uh, I think we'll go ahead and end things off there for today. There was a lot going on there, so hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs>